respected toastmasters and guests a warm good evening to one and all imagine you are starting out in the construction field and you would like to know the best brand of cement that is available what would you do would you take a cement that is endorsed by your favorite actor or would you go with the cement that has the catchiest advertisement or would you go with the cement that is recommended by the construction professionals in your network what would you do well i can say sorry from the prof what the professional says yes yes so i can safely say that all of you agree with toastmaster i know on this that if with a network of construction professionals you are able to choose the right cement well this is the beauty of networking networking helps you learn from somebody else's perspective and also you become a reliable person for somebody to learn from before going into my speech let me give a small a uh, background of my family we stayed for a long time in kuwait and when we moved to kerala we didn't have so many friends the only people we knew were a couple of relatives and people who stayed in our lane after a couple of years of settling my dad decided to construct a commercial building on a plot that abutted the mc road i too joined him and we constructed the building after construction we wanted to give it for rent so we put up advertisements in newspapers in 99acres.com and also we put a big flux in front of our building we got a lot of inquiries but unfortunately all wanted just one or two shutters on the ground floor which was kind of which was disappointing to us because we wanted somebody to take the entire building now i was one day in pala discussing with my father in law about all this and he said okay jabir it is not because people don't want to take your building but it is because people are not getting the right people are not getting your ads so i asked him what do you mean it means that you don't have a good network with people so i asked him what what are you implying he said okay one example i could give you imagine you come to that junction over there and you ask for my house anybody standing in that junction would be able to guide them here but can you say that about your case well no that is where you have to start you have to start networking so how do i do that start by attending funerals in your area i was from ox what do you mean by that well attending funerals have lot of advantages you don't need an invite to go to a funeral you don't need elaborate ice breaker or elevator speeches to connect with people you can just talk about the disease and thirdly everyone in that area will come to the funeral so you can meet people there as strange as all this advice sounded i thought okay i'll give my shot at this so i started attending funerals day by day my contacts started to increase i started making new new friends before when i used to drive in my neighborhood i used to just watch the road and drive today i had to look at the pedestrians to see if i knew someone if i knew someone i had to show hi hi i had to do this so one such funeral that i attended was of an old lady who lived in the other lane i went for the funeral and a while uh, after paying respects while exiting her home her youngest son was standing in the hallway i walked up to him and introduced hi my name is chepit and i live on the first house on the milk this road he said hi my name is sajan and i work in ahilya international foundation in palakkad 
he asked me what do you do i am into construction i recently made a commercial building on the mc road right opposite arita homes he said oh yeah i have seen that building oh, oh opposite the arita homes uh, have you given it for rent so i said no till now i haven't got any one to rent that place all right uh, can you give me your card so i gave him my card and i left after a few days he calls me up and he says this organization is interested in that place anyway long story short within a few months they took that building for rent this is how attending funerals can help you create a very big network if you want so if you are the new kid in the block start attending funerals don't go with buy some and sweets like how the character of character played by dilip in mr butler he goes to his neighbor's house with all that pies and all that stuff it didn't work for him it most probably won't work for you and creating a very good network in the area is very crucial if you are going to start your own business or you are going to do something new because with the support of people in your area only can you start so i recommend everyone to give this method a shot and let me know if it works out for you guys and i would like to end my speech with a with a line from the ceo and co-founder of elvis sally cross where she says networking is the secret to success in business thank you and back to you toastmaster of the day